Well, I've got a little bit of time left. And I'd like to talk to you about something new. Something I hope you're surprised by. If you're not surprised, I'm going to be surprised. Something new. You know, <clears throat> gamers today, gamers today play games on every platform. They play games on consoles, they play games on PCs, they play games on phones, they play games on tablets. Next generation gamers play literally everywhere they can, whenever they can. Just like we enjoy movies on multiple screens, just like we listen to music on multiple devices. There are two ecosystems that are growing incredibly fast. The Windows ecosystem, the Windows gaming platform, because of all the things that we talked about, the incredible pace of technology, the rich graphics that the technology affords, the open platform, and therefore the innovative new business models like free to play, and because the gamers themselves are on a platform where they can make contributions to the gaming experience, they are innovating too. The other platform, Android, the fastest operating system growth in the history of mankind. Hundreds of millions of people have Android devices. There are millions and millions of Android gamers, and the games are getting better than ever. Our feeling is that the PC games and the Android games will continue to flourish. But there's a way for us to help these gamers enjoy games even better. And that as a company, we are really the only company in the world who has the processor technology, the system software technology, and the dedication to these two platforms and the gamers within it to go build devices that can allow us to enjoy games in a very different way, in a very, very different way. And so our, our engineers are gamers too, and so we asked ourselves, what if? What if we could build such a device? And so we started, we started playing with it, and today I'd like to share it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this video. <laughs> I'll take your money shortly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Project Thor. Uh, excuse me, Project Shield. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> you know, I have to live in code words the vast majority of my life, and only for one singular moment I have to learn not to use the code words. Please, please, please accept my apologies. Hey, hey, Coonrad, let's, let's flip through this real quickly. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm taking too long doing this. Let's, let's go through it quickly. Let's, let's show them what, um, uh, what S.H.I.E.L.D. is all about. Of course, Shield is going to be the world's first Tegra 4 processor. Next.
packed with batteries, 38 watt hours, gives you somewhere between five to 10 hours of gameplay. You don't have to use up all your, your uh, battery life on your phone anymore to play your games. You, all of the games just show up, obviously, because it's in the Android Play Store, it's in Tegra Zone, and it's in the cloud, and so every game that you own magically shows up, and now you can enjoy it for five to 10 hours. Um, and if you're just you're watching high-definition video, about 24 hours. 24 hours of high-definition video. Next. <laughs> One of the most amazing part of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the sound system. You can't enjoy games, as you know, without great sound. This is the first mobile device that I know that uses a bass reflex system. Basically what it does, there's a tube that connects to the driver, the output of the driver, and it takes advantage of a large space of air and the elasticity of the air to extend the low, uh, low end frequency range of uh, these devices. But it works very similar to essentially a, a blowing air over the top of a bottle. And uh, the sound resonates uh, inside the bottle and it sounds bigger than uh, then, then, then obviously the air that you blew across. Um, this particular system uh, is twice the signal to noise ratio and the frequency response of an HP laptop with Beats Audio. We have a signal to noise ratio of 79 compared to an iPhone 5 of 66, and it's on par with these dedicated jam boxes. Okay, so this is the world's first custom base reflex system. It even knows when you set it down, it changes the audio processing so that the audio effects will be different. Next, please. <laughs> Gamers need game, great game controllers. Buttons, analog joysticks, digital uh, D-pads, bumpers, Hey, Kunrad, let's, let's rotate this around. Oh, what? This is a video you could rotate. <laughs> Look at that. Turns out it's not a video at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's something you would expect a video to be able to do. All of this is rendered using the latest UE4 engine, and um, the rendering is as beautiful as you could see. Bumpers, triggers, a world-class game controller. Next. This device is pure Android. Pure Android. We didn't put a skin on top of it. We didn't change it. It's pure Android for Tegra 4. And the only thing that you have to do is hit the shield button right in the middle. It hyperspaces you into the shield mode. You hit it, it, comes, it drops you back into Android. Pure Android. Everything works exactly as if you would expect an Android device to work. Next, please. Industry standard IOs. No proprietary interfaces, proprietary jacks. You don't have to buy yet another charger. All of your USB chargers just works. Um, it's an open platform, and so you could add more memory if you like. So there's a micro SD slot. Next, please. And then lastly, a customizable tag. We expect you to have, well, we're hoping that you would have several in every household. And so if you had several in every household, one in your living room, one in your family room, one in every bedroom, you're going to need to know whose is whose. And so this tag, this little shield, if you will, comes right off, and uh, you can replace it with one. Oh, look at that, something that you can customize. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Shield.
you were probably starting to wonder whether it was just a 3D animation. Uh, this is S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> this is the work of love of many engineers at NVIDIA. And now we're going to show you what it can do. Okay, so before, um, uh, while, while Jason's getting set up, just to give you a sense for the size of Shield, we want a Shield to, number one, be a perfect controller. Its job is to help you enjoy games. And although touch is fabulous for swipes and pinch and zooms, and um, for gaming, it's really quite challenging to play with touch. And we think that for most rich games, you still want the best possible controller, and that's the place to start. The second objective for a Shield is to make it as small as possible. There are so many people now who are carrying these controllers in their bags and connecting it up to their phone so that they can play their games. And so now this device, the Shield, is essentially the same size as any controller, and so there's no reason to carry another controller. All of your applications, all of your content, all of your games uh, just show up. And so uh, let me demonstrate it to you. Set this over here. <clears throat> okay. And so because you guys fight me for Wi-Fi, uh, I'm going to have to use a, a hardwired Ethernet and an HDMI. Now, let's see if you could uh, change the camera. Can you guys change the are you um, change the camera up there? Okay, so uh, first of all, I'm connected to a LG 4K television. Okay, so this is a 4K television, yeah. and um, uh, over uh, over HDMI. And uh, uh, first of all, this is just. Um, this is just uh, Android. You can enjoy music. Um, you hit home, goes back to home. Touch works just fine. Uh, you could control it with the controller or touch, whichever you like. Spirit of Marilyn calling me audibly, born as she said. just works. Exactly what you would expect Android to do. Okay. Um, let's see. Movies work. No. 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 Frankly, no. a pretty, pretty terrific entertainment device. Uh, this, this set-top box, if you will, just can travel with me wherever I want to go. And with a connection to the television, um, it replaces really just about everything I own. Uh, let's see. Well, Facebook works. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> uh, they surprised me with that. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's find something to try. Um, you know what? Why don't we do something that's the first time ever? This is the first time you are going to see a 4K video coming off of a mobile device. Misunderstand me. Danger is very real. But fear is a choice. Do you know where we are? No, sir. Wow. This is Earth.
4K video looks pretty darn good. And so, so first of all, this is an Android device. It's pure Android. However, however, uh, by simply touching the shield button, now you're inside a game environment. These are the games that are loaded on here. Tegra Zone Game Store is right up there. Let's see. Let's find one that... that um, everything is 100% 100 um, 100 Android, and these games are all, all um, available on Tegra Zone and um, optimized for the controller. And I'm, as you see right now, driving a 4K display right out of shield. Um, I, well, it's time to uh, time to try something else, and so let's um, let's try one more game, and then and then um, Two magnificent fighters. All right. I think they're talking about me. All right. Oh, look at this. What a shot to the head. Devastating combo. Low uppercut. uppercut. Oh, a little uppercut there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Pretty fantastic graphics. All right. Let's try something else. Combination. All right, how's that? Pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, all right, that's enough of that.